Hello, Brady Debrix Customs here. Back with a finally another showcase after, like, my my first actual, like, I guess in a month. But, like, actual, actually two weeks, but, like, it's actually been a month because that older, that plus chef showcase was an older custom. And I feel like I, and I'm giving you guys an extra figure, like, this, when I was originally recording this, not recording this, but before I was about to record this, I originally had five right here. I'm giving you an extra custom versus Mario showcase. Other than that, okay, so let's get into the figures. So we have Bowsette, which I was going to showcase singular, but I didn't think that was necessary. Popple and Tasma from Mario and Luigi Dream Team. He can, he's from Superstar Saga and Dream Team. Bowsette from the meme. Princess Troop Disguises, Peach, Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. Hell Valley Sky Tree from Mario, Super Mario Galaxy. And Wedding Peach from Super Mario Odyssey. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm going to get this meme out of the way first. Bowsette from 2019. Um, so I made this when like, my customized skills were decently at their peak. Like it's been decreasing recently, but like I've been trying to get back at it. And also this was before the newer dress. I had the newer dress pieces, so it's like just one of these slope bricks. So I'm going to replace this eventually. I'm doing a custom update. But yeah, her, her torso is sculpted. I sculpted it on the gem too. Before you say anything, on this torso, it's not what I think it is. I think it's glue or cold stains. I don't know what it is. Could be glue. I did give her a sanded torso. It's kind of hard because, you know, the dress piece doesn't match up, but her torso is curved. Torso is curved. If you can see right here, there's a little bit of negative space if I put my hand under it. Not under, but behind there. Gold and blue for the gem. Brown for like the outlinings of the chest and stuff. Pin on the van braces with black and silver. Might touch up this up. Might touch this custom up a bit. But I do really do like the super crown. I mean, it's not. Okay, sure. It doesn't look the best because like I barely had any reference for this. And I think I was winging it. But yeah, I do like the hair sculpt. The ponytail is just like an average ponytail. Like a simplified one. Possibly how Lego would do it. But yeah, she has her um, dragon ears sculpted on. Elf ears or something like that. Um, her horns are sculpted on, painted white. I used flame yellow or sunny day for her hair because it fit. Paint on her anime eyes. And I gave her her like... It kinda, you know how like Izuka Aichan has, you know, that one too? I kind of gave her like that. I gave it like that because like I think it fits with the character better in my opinion. And I did give her red eyebrows. I know it should be like a reddish, yellowish hair, but like at the same time, I didn't really know. I didn't have that much reference. Blue band on the back. Super crown, super crown was sculpted along with the hair. This is just one piece. Man, there is white dots on there. It's just hard to see. Maybe I'll bring it. Yeah, um, there's some white dots on there. I used a really bright pink, and I did paint on the eyes, but they kind of look soulless. All right, sorry. Um, let's move on to least No, next. What we have is in Tasma from Martin Luigi Dream Team. As you can see here, I extended his arms. Gave him a genie's hell from um, Aladdin or something like that. Sculpted on his bow tie, his bow tie and his tie. And not gonna lie, this kind of does look like a tongue. I don't know if it is or not. But that's how it well, was basing it off for reference. I extended his arms with those like with another pair of arms, just cut off. Just cut off the end of it and then, you know, glue it on and then sculpt around it or whatever you desire. I used a Jafar cape from Aladdin. Because, you know, the two, black and red, fits really well. I don't think there's that much on the back. Yeah, it's just a purple outlining. Head is sculpted on a cone piece. Not cone, but cylinder. Give him the spikes, his eyes his mouth if I do lift this up a bit probably gonna have to you know repaint this eventually but like um, he does have his under teeth too it's supposed to be like a vampire a dreamy vampire so like I gave him like stuff like a vampire so I gave him an extra teeth because he had a few extra teeth in the game he has fuchsia for his like I don't know what's part of his bow tie I think it's like actually I don't know but like it's indentation I indented to that too I think I indented his um, Dreamstone. That's not too well because it's painted on a very light purple. 
But there is, you know, uh, indentations in there. And I painted on the yellow and then the black. Sorry, I don't know what to say, honestly. Because, like, it's pretty simple, honestly. But he was one of my favorites. But until he, they, you know, just killed him off, honestly. He was pretty cool, but, like... Sad that he killed him off so easily. He should have been tinkered off with Bowser in my opinion, but you know. Stuff. Okay, let's get on to the next lesson now. This is like the only Princess Shroob, not only, but like the Princess Shroob I have I have two currently. I have the Partners in Time one, which I will showcase this eventually in the Partners in Time showcase. I do have her bigger sister made. I just lost it for some reason. And I have this one from like, five-second cutscene that you got from Mario Luigi Partners in Time. All it is, basically, is a Princess Peach outfit with, you know, a shrewd face onto it and red eyes. I just slipped back hairpiece and sculpted on on Pony's Hill. Painted it in Sunny Day and gave it gold for, for a crown and jewel. Her crown jewel at her, her gold rim and her blue fur jewel. I'll get on to the face in a second, just let me finish, you know, that. Her bottom legs are, you know, like, painted with fuchsia and, I think it's fuchsia, and, um, candy pink. And I gave her yellow outline, not yellow, but white, for her, you know, dress. Not her dress, but, you know, these gloves. Then I gave her her skin color. Not the shrimp color, but, like, the Princess Peach skin color. And some pink for ruffles. And hopefully I can do this without it breaking. So like if I take the hair off. Okay, never mind. It's, it's too loose. But like as you can see here, I sculpted the shrub onto it. And it does have a red eyes painted on. And like the little um bug. I don't know what it's really called, but it's like a fake bug that the shrubs made. And they plopped it on peach temporarily. And like she pulls this down. It, it was originally covering her face, but like then she pulled it down a little bit, and then it showed red eyes. Then you know, she you know takes everything off, and it reveals this. Basically, this is disguise for Princess Shrub. And yeah, I think I went all over the details. I did paint some lines on there. Nothing too much. It's just a really simple figure. I'll probably get the Popple in the Hell Valley Sky Tree next. So let's get to it. Starting off Mario and Luigi, we have Popple. Um, pretty simple. I used when the mid legs first came out. I used these. Sorry, my stem breaks a lot. Um, I used mid legs and I painted them gray shoes. Sanded it down so I can have posability. His torso is really old. It's my from my old oldest popple that I repainted, and I probably need to repaint this again so I can like you know send down the front torso and make it you know more flat and stuff, so like the paint doesn't chip or anything. His head is sculpted, painted on um, sculpted on his beret or something like that in his leaf, and I painted on his eyes, his mask, sculpted on his mask and his mouth, which kind of looks horrifying, but like it's the best I could do. Painted on the black stripes with the purple. Yeah, he's just a really simple figure, honestly. Okay, let's move on to the Hello Valley Sky Tree. Now, starting off with the mainline Super Mario games, we have Super Mario Galaxy with the Hell Valley Sky Tree. So, basically, what this thing is, is I, I used an average minifigure, extended the head a little bit. And I sculpted over it to give him his, his neck, because they don't have, like, you know, an actual long neck in the game. It's just kind of like, you know, this, where it's just like a semi-neck. It's kind of merged, submerged. And I painted the dark purple eyes, a petunia purple. Basic minifigure, just, you know, painted black and, you know, painted purple. For the eyes, I tried to make them as creepy as possible, because, you know, Hell Valley, Sky Tree. From Shiver Burn Galaxy. But yeah. And I think that's it. Oh wait no it's not it. I have one more figure. It's a special figure. You probably saw it in the thumbnail. And the title. But yeah let's get into it. 
not title, but like the introduction. So let's get to it. Finishing off his showcase, we have Wedding Peach from Super Mario Odyssey. I have not played this game yet, but I made this figure because I'm a simp. Sorry. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm trying to get out of it, but you know. Okay, I'm talking way too much. Um, I painted her in completely um, metallic white. Give her white hands because, you know, if I use metallic white hands, they'll just chip like crazy. I give her metallic, you know, white for, um, e basically everything except for the highlights, like Princess Peach's iconic waist thing and her, you know, her dr bottom dress piece, like where it just ruffles down. I gave her that little slit in it. And I painted on her upper arms and her upper torso, painted the gem on her neck. With some light blue. Gave her her animated eyes with the shock expression like how the amiibo has it. And I sculpted the hair. I know it's not detailed. I think I basically saw Mr. Fuzzy Legos a little bit with the hair. And I kind of rushed it too. So that's why it's not as detailed. I'll link him in the description below. He's really talented. I think he changed his name to... Co yeah, he's Cosmos Lego now. But he used to be Mr. Fuzzy Lego. See here, the eyes, I really do like. I had to Mod Podge this because I'm, I'm scared that, you know, the paint might chip and paint on her eyebrows, the outlines, the blue, the white, and black, and the white again for a shine, and the pupils. And I gotta go because, you know, my dog's whining, so yeah, I'll be right back. Alrighty, everyone, I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.